in implant dentistry, we certainly have lots of choices when we go to think about implants, the type of implants to use, uh, the abutments, the type of abutments we choose, whether we do immediate placement or delayed placement or lots of choices. And it gets to be very overwhelming when we think about all the choices that we have when we go to sit down to treat one of our patients. And so sometimes it's confusing as to know which choice we need to make. And this is where the ITI comes in to help us because there we understand that we want to make our choices based on evidence. What is the best evidence to support our choices that we make? And probably the most fundamental aspect of what we do, the most fundamental, is about osseointegration. We virtually take this for granted today, but there has been a tremendous evolution in learning about osseointegration. And I'd like to provide for you some of the information that's been accumulated on implant surfaces that we've learned over these years and indicate to you that there are differences in the way implants integrate. So that would be the topic that I would like to approach today. And so I will start talking about osseointegration and the ability to try to enhance osseointegration. Is there a chance that we can enhance osseointegration? And there are really two strategies that I could think about for enhancing osseointegration. One would be that we could add something around the implant 